Hi, this is Vix Great Deals with another really quick instructional video showing you guys how to stop the buffering, the freezing, and things like that. Okay, um, well, I'm not going to sit up here and guarantee that it's going to stop all your buffering and freezing. However, I have seen an extreme huge difference in mine, um, but I'm not going to guarantee that for you and say that's what's going to happen, and I'm not going to even title that in the uh, for this video. But anyway, uh, quickly show you how to do that real quick. You want to go into your Kodi, go over to system, go up to player, select it. You're going to go down to, I mean, select videos and over to the right, you're going to go over to the right, scroll down to the processing part. And you'll see here where it says enable HQ scalers for scaling above. You're going to actually, um, select that and go up with it. Actually, you want to take it up to about 80%. You can go up, you know, like higher if you want to as well. Um, I keep mine at like 80, okay? But you can put it up to 90. They recommend 100, <laughs> so you could put it up to 90. Anyway, then you want to also go here and enable these things. On our latest Fire 6, this is kind of um, already done, however, for... All of our other customers that have been with us for years, you definitely want to uh, do this. So you want to go here and enable this, allow hardware acceleration, and the next one underneath it, allow hardware acceleration for Media Kodak without the surface. You want to enable both of those. Once you do that, you want to exit out of here, and then you want to go to System, and you want to go to Add-ons, and you want to go up to My Add-ons, you're going to go down to video add-ons. I'm sorry, video player input stream. Select that. Then you're going to select input stream adapter. You're going to enable it. So it, down here, it'll probably say enable. You want to enable that. Okay. You want to enable that. That's what you want to do. When you're done with all that, you want to make sure you go out, go back to your home screen and Cody, select this power button to exit out the correct way so that it saves your settings. So you hit that and hit the exit, okay? This may or may not take a while. It depends on, you know, how much data or um, video streaming you've been doing that's loaded in your cache or what the stick has to clean. All right, so once that's done, now you can just go back in and your buffering and stuff like that should definitely improve, okay? All right, so. You guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you love the video, just click that subscribe button. Um, we definitely come out with new videos. Um, not as frequently as most people, but definitely enough that are that we're consistent in what we give you is value, not just stuff that everybody comes out with, which is gone the next day or the next week. Okay. So anyway, hit the click the subscribe button. Um, and like I said, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And I'll actually go make one.